What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tweet called Insta Launcher. Now you can set this to any activation method that you want. Right now what I have it as is my unlock. So every time that I unlock my device, Insta Launcher will launch. So if I just go ahead and unlock right there, you'll see that it gives you this list here on the side. So you have your A through Z and any letter that you don't have, that means that you don't have an application starting with that letter. So you can see I don't have any any uh, application that starts with a B but all you have to do here is just slide your finger down and whatever application that you want to open you just go to whatever letter the application starts with and you're able to open it up so if we wanted to open up let's say let's say we want to open up the calculator so we go to C just slide over and it would instantly launch just like that so let's go ahead and go back just to show you the two little panels here you can see here is the recent ones that I've opened so I just opened the calculator so it's right there and here are my favorites which you can set individually on the settings so let's go ahead and just open up the settings here and we'll scroll down here to insta launcher alright so here is where you set your activation method so you can set it just like any other type of activation method so right now I have it set to anywhere and I have it set to unlocked so that's where I'm gonna keep it and if we scroll back here there are applications that you can hide so all you have to do in order to hide an application is just hit hide so this shouldn't show up in my recents or in my favorites because I believe I have that on my favorites so if we wanted to hide that and if we want to hide the camera so let's go back and here are the recent panel options so you can obviously enable or disable that right there and you can change the layout if you want to do that so you can have a list vertically which is what I had before you can have a list icons to the right to the left in the middle or the grid of icons which is actually what my most recent applications were aligned so let's go ahead and give centered text a shot see what that looks like and our favorite panels here you can go into your favorites here and you can change whatever you want so let's go ahead and add the game center let's let's put uh, mail in there let's put maps in there and you can actually put as many as you want now they will scale down so I mean the more you put in the smaller the application looks and the font so you can get pretty crunched in there and you can make it not look very good but I'll show you what it looks like with just a few of them and then we'll go ahead and uh, show you what it looks like with a whole bunch so here you can turn on your cursor or turn it off if you want to do that as well so let's go ahead and check out and see what we did here so you can see that I added some applications in my favorites so they scaled down to fit so they actually look pretty good with this many applications now as for our recents they aren't actually there anymore that's because we changed some settings so they refresh every time you change some settings so you're gonna see that my calculator is not there because I hid that so basically that's pretty much all that it does so if we go into let's go ahead and put uh, let's open up calendar and let's go back so let's go ahead and open up a few just to see what the alignment looks like in the centered text for the recent applications so there you go that's what the centered list looks like and just to show you if I add a whole lot more of the favorites here let's go ahead and go back into settings we'll go to favorites and let's just add a bunch of them just to show you that it's probably not in your best interest to add a ton of favorites just because this is what it's going to look like see you can't really see what the application is it's pretty tiny and the words are all scrunched but I guess it's better than actually putting a limit on them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe alright guys until next time this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com